How do, Rangers? Don't suppose y'all got a medic among ya? Bless you for stopping, folks. We're in a peck of trouble, and no mistake, got jumped by some raiders just outside the safe zone, and our wounded are gonna bleed out before we can get them to the Mad Monk's hospital. We already lost most of the herd. You ain't got a medic with you by any chance. We'd be glad to trade for some doctoring. Name's Jill Yates. Me and Howdy and the boys are driving the herd to the settlements on the far side of DeMonta. At least we was till them raiders laid us low. Lovely little place on the other end of this valley. A trading town, mostly. So there's a lot of coming and going. We'll be passing through there, if we can get up and running again. Howdy's my ramrod. He keeps the boys in line and the raiders at bay. Awful sore at himself for letting those villains get the drop on us just now, and I'm afraid it's making him a mite ornery. Pay him no mind. Poor old Doc took one right in the gut with a dirty knife. Now he's so poorly he can't even open his eyes, which is a crying shame, seeing that he's the best sawbones this side of the Colorado. If you can get him up on his feet again, he could probably fix up the rest of us. I didn't be able to show you a thing or two about setting limbs and such. Well, ain't you just a ray of sunshine, Rangers? And a deft hand with animals, I bet. I can see it in you. Thank you. The Mad Monk's got an underground hospital up at the Temple of Titan. Top-notch place. Won't find better anywhere. Always short in supplies, though. That's why they ask for medicine as tribute all the time. You got any ills you can't shake? They'll fix them for you. Easy as pie. Whoa, now. You come into the canyon of the Mushroom Cloud, and you don't know about tribute? You're gonna get yourself killed. These lands are protected by the Mad Monks. They keep it nice and peaceful, as long as you're a friend of Titan. And the only way to become a friend of Titan is to pay a tribute. Well, it's a little bit weird. They look you up and down and suss out something special for each group. Something that matches up with what the travelers do. For us traders, it's mostly some of our goods. And as long as you promise to hand some over, they'll give you an escort to the temple where you gotta pay up. With a monk on your back, you're free to go. You got safe passage all through the canyon. The Titan's Peace, they call it. Anybody try to mess with you in here, they face the Titan's wrath, and nobody wants that. The monks use the fear of Titan to keep us all in line. Everybody knows what the big bastard could do if they woke him up. Titan is the Mad Monk's god. God of the Mushroom Cloud, they call him. And they say he's so strong he could kill every soul in the safe zone and leave it impassable for a thousand years. Everybody in these parts is afraid of old Titan. Raiders, traders, settlers, everybody. And they pay tribute to the Mad Monks to keep him sleeping nice and sweet under the ground where he belongs and not up here wreaking havoc amongst all in a sundry. That's the monk's bunkhouse. Ain't much to look at on the surface, but it goes deep into the ground. I've been down in their hospital, and I swear it was ten flights down. Felt mighty cramped in there, but they got my gallstones out like they were cherries in a pie. Ha! <laughs> Didn't feel a thing. They call themselves the servants of the mushroom cloud, but everybody else calls them the mad monks on account of their habit of blowing themselves sky high. <laughs> Crazy as bed bugs, but at least they keep the peace. Thermonuclear grenades, they call them. <laughs> Got bandoliers of them across their chests. Anybody gives them trouble and boom, off they go. And everybody within a hundred yards goes with them. Maybe you seen all them craters along here? Yep, those were monks once. Now they ain't nothing but Geiger clicks. Them bastards whooped us good. If we hadn't skedaddled in here, they probably would have wiped us out entirely. Thank God for Titan's peace. A lot of raiders line wait just out of the canyon, hoping to hit caravans before they enter the monks' safe zone. They wouldn't dare follow us in here, though. They know we'll get a monk escort right quick. They'd be wiped off the face of the earth. Oh, sure, there's raiders in the safe zone, too. But they only pick on the cheapskates who ain't promised to pay the tribute, and then poor suckers what lose their monk tag-alongs. As far as the monks are concerned, freeloaders like that are fair game. And you can be sure the raiders pay the tribute just like everybody else. <laughs> they ain't fools. They call it a hunting license.
This here canyon is the only way east through the radiated zone. A winding little bit of clean land through the middle of hell. Used to be raiders would hole up here and jump every caravan that tried to come through. But then the mad monk showed up and brought their god with him. And now it's safe as houses, a caravanner's dream. Like I said, rangers, I'd be much obliged if you could take a look at Doc. He's hurting. Doc's okay? <laughs> That's terrific. He'll be able to take care of the boys now. Thank you, rangers. Old Doc would have died without you. Here, let me give you what I promised you. Ah, oh, bless your heart. Thank you so much. Now we can get back on the trail. I hate to do this, but you seem like such kindly folks. Could I ask you for one more favor before you go? My best wrangler, Bart, went off to find the first checkpoint, hoping to figure out some tribute and get us a monk escort. That was about four hours ago. He should have been back three times over by now, and I'm right worried. So here's what I'm asking. Keep your eyes open for Bart. If he's in trouble, help him out and send him on to DeMonta. You do that, and I'll make sure you're treated like royalty when you make it to DeMonta yourselves. Well, he's not a talker, I can tell you that much. He's got a dead-eye aim with a rifle, and he can move through most places without anyone knowing he's there. He can usually take care of himself, but sometimes he misses what's right in front of his face. The monks got checkpoints all along the valley to make sure everybody's keeping Titan's peace, and to make sure they all got their tribute with him. Anybody step out of line, boom! <laughs> One of them monks will blow him to kingdom come, and himself, too. Thanks again for looking after Doc. You're lifesavers. I swear, Rangers, every time you see us, we're in a peck of trouble. It's plain embarrassing. Should have known something was up as soon as we got in. Place was like a ghost town. And all of a sudden, robots everywhere. I'm afraid Howdy sacrificed his life, giving us time to hide. And even that wasn't enough. Big tin bastard got in before we could close the door and killed two of my boys before we put him down. Got me pretty good, too. Thank God Doc didn't get hurt this time. And top all of that, we lost the cattle, which makes us dead and broke. I know he was an ornery cuss, but he was as loyal and stalwart a cowboy who ever... who... sorry. I gotta dab my eye a minute. I'm gonna miss that boy. The airplane graveyard. We used to go out there for a picnic when we come into town and look at all them metal fellas lying around. Now they ain't lying around no more. I don't know what it's all about, but we've been hearing screams and gunfire coming from all over. Seems they're on a rampage. The herd scattered when them robots attacked, and without them, this trip's a total loss. Say, I don't suppose you folks be willing to help us out again. We need to get them cattle back so we can sell them somewhere else. Talking me ain't up to the task, and Bart here, well, <laughs> it's too dangerous a job for one man. If you could take him with you till you come across the herd, I'd be mighty obliged. He can get him back on his own, but hunting for him in a robot-infested town? Hmm. I don't want another young man's life on my conscience. Savvy? Thanks. Bart'll come and get him once you get back to us. Adios, Rangers.